Hey you ones, welcome back to my channel, it's Winnie BLV, Mouth of the South. No intro, no outro. Honey, it's just this ho. Today's video though, yes, with my friend Dawn. Hello Dawn. Uh, she is uh, collabing with me so we saw i think the handbag housewife aaron's little um community post which said there was a sale on this coach it bag and it was really a good sale because i think these are like in the 400 and some odd dollar range it was like 207 what? but not from coach we had to get it at macy's anyway we bought the same bag and we're going to show it to you and give us our thought give you our thoughts um i'm gonna see if she's into it she's gonna see if i'm down but i think this bag seriously though is the other coach it bag <laughs> yeah so anyway um bag of the day so i got out ruby because ruby matches my aladdin saying david bowie shirt today and Dawn has seen David Bowie a couple times and she loves David Bowie and she loves that album. It means a lot to her. So anyway, I said, um, you know what? Let's send her F and Rella. Let's put this David Bowie on in honor of Dawn because we are collabing with her. And um, I am going to carry out, <laughs> I haven't gone anywhere yet, but I'm going to carry out the Ruby. Um, however, my actual bag that I still have my stuff in is kurt geiger the rainbow bag which is downstairs i need to bring it up here and switch it out the scent of the day girl thank you to april who sent me this now i can actually wear <laughs> real baccarat rouge she sent me a travel size of this just because she's a great person and i love her for that so this is my scent of the day um baccarat rouge i have the lotion and i also have the perfumed oil so i am extra on that baccarat rouge today okay so let's get into the unboxing um as i said here is my receipt from macy's people like receipts girl <laughs> or is that for just drama yeah that's for drama never mind um oh wow right off the bat i can tell you that it's heavy and the freaking chain is heavy wow it's the madison Girl, in this orangey peach, that's another reason I thought I would wear this because I think it would pick up some of the um, peachy tones in the shirt. I don't know. Maybe. But if I'm going to carry this, I might carry it with something of this color because this is more of an orangey like peach. Maybe a melon. What is the actual name of the color? <sighs> I don't, Coral. It's coral. I was thinking of all the other colors, but what it actually is, which is a peachy coral. Okay, it is a nice bag. Wow. I love it. I think the, whew, the leather on this thing is so good. Okay. I love when they do this like they did on the tabby, this um, C with the leather all over it yes girl i love leather all over me too let me just tell you <laughs> she's kind of like a um uh, like a double flap deal here she's kind of like a, a like a chanel double flap almost what are you kidding me this is so cute the uh chanel at a fraction you know of, of the price of chanel but it has this front bag oh man and, and the inside of this bag like i guess where you guys would put your phone I always get like tickled when people do reviews and they go and my phone can go right here listen i get this is just me and i carry a lot of mini bags that don't you know my little tiny micro bags don't fit a phone so i kind of um if i'm carrying a bigger bag uh sometimes i do you know it happens <laughs> um I don't like my phone inside my bag. I've just never been someone who carries my phone in my bag. So it's not even a thing to me. Like, will my phone fit? Will it not? But I always, when I do a bag unboxing or review of a bigger bag, I always let you know, you know, if it'll fit, where it will go, all that stuff. Because people are very, very into, is my phone going to fit? Because the reason I don't is I always 
want to be on my phone and you know my kids are always texting me um you know it's just one of those things i'm just very on my phone all the time and so to stick it in my bag it pisses me off a little bit because then i'm like where's my phone oh yeah i stuck it in my bag and then i gotta search around so i don't i carry mine all the time everywhere all the time either in my pocket or in my hand and then my bag is separate from my phone that is also why I like to carry, uh, to, I like to put, do I have it here? Yeah. That's also why I like a nice phone case um, because this is the piece of luxury that I carry more than anything, more than a bag, more than an SLG, more than anything, more than luxury shoes even. I, I wear anything. This one gets constant use. So, um yeah, I, I will always, I think, invest in a nice, nice phone case. So, but yeah, I just always have my phone handy. Uh, if it's not in my hand, it's in my pocket. So that's why I always tell you guys, I just want you to know that um, yeah, a phone's definitely getting in here, but I think that would be a good phone pocket for those of you who like to stow away your phone. Um, the back could also be used as that. There's microfiber in here that feels really good. Wow. It's the leather. Is this like a lambskin? I think it is, right? I think they're doing like a lambskin leather on these bags. The retail price, so it went from $4.95 original price. Seriously, they were charging $495. <sighs> Girl. Um, this is, I believe this is a 25 or something, or maybe a 28 across here. I, I wish I was more prepared for you. I'm so sorry, but um, I, they do make it in an 18, and I am kind of into that. They have like a bright pink and a bright green, so if those actually go on sale, but they just drop, so it'll be a while. I really would like to have one of those, but anyway, this went down to $297, and then it went even further than that to $207. Um, only this color though, so this color might have been not a great one for everybody. People might not have been choosing this, but it's sold out now on the Macy's side at that price. But man, it's got a zippered pocket inside too, so there's like compartments in here, girl. There's a compartment here, then there's a really cool like flapped pocket here. It's got a little magnet. Um, and then once you do the turn lock, you've got these cool ass chains, which I love and this back pocket which does have a little magnet in it too oh my gosh the chain is really nice it's chanel -y. <laughs> it's very this bag is very chanel-esque i think they you know we're going for something there but this chain actually does have the leather running through it kind of like you know what chanel does so and it's the a thing of where you know you can shoulder it you can crossbody it uh, however you want to carry. I really like this bag. It's very cute. I love a quilted bag moment though. God, I love things that are quilted, girl. Ooh. Oh God, she smells so leathery. Oh God, I love the smell of a leather glove, don't I? <laughs> I really do love the smell of a leather glove. We won't get into that tonight, but think about that for a minute. Okay, so let's do an autumn spin. Oh wow, this bag is so big it takes up everything. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Okay, this is a very nice bag. It's, I think one of the It bags, they dropped this one first and then they did the Ruby. Or am I crazy and thinking wrong? I think they dropped this one first and then the Ruby. Uh, but this was like their, hey, you know, JLo was seen carrying the white one as far, not seen, but she, I'm sure she carries the coach bags. I mean, she's their like spokesperson, but on their ads you could you know the one that she had was the like white bag that um everybody was like oh what is that bag i have to have it but it is very cute um it's a little larger <laughs> than like i said i would be tickled to get the 18 um 
I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I'm on the fence about carrying this. I might carry it, but I do love it. I think it's gorgeous. The um, brassy hardware, the gold, really nice. Yeah, it looks good. I mean, it looks really good. It's it's worth the 207 that I paid for it. I mean, even if I wanted to resell it or gift it, it's totally, totally worth that. I said too much already. But anyhow, so Dawn and I got the same bag, and this is it. It's the it bag for Coach this year. One of them, because they have a few. Um, yeah, I'm totally down. I'm totally down. I like it, but man, it, it's kind of big. I thought it was going to be a little smaller. <laughs> Ain't that the story of my damn life? But yeah, um, I thought it would be a little... I don't think it's going to stand up on its own for eye candy. Okay, we just did a whole thing back there. What happened? Holy crap. Uh, one more thing to show you, and then this video won't be that long. This is a bonus video because I normally put out videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays, but Dawn and I got this one, so we got to get this video out. So, um, we went on Amazon, and Dawn has been sending us links like crazy, and she posted a video where she got the quilted heart bag that looks kind of like the Chanel bag. Well, it looks just like it doesn't have any markings on it. So she had sent this one to me because she knows I love micro bags. So I got it, girl. Guess what? It is a straight up fake on Amazon, girl. I'm not really supposed to say those two words together, but I don't know how else to say it because they used to do it all the time and then they like crack down on it. But these um, people are getting a little more crafty. And so when they showed this, because I did look at it, it did not have this little thing uh which makes it an f for fendi right so i would love to have an actual fendi first this exact real fendi bag but this was like 29 dollars, and they kept sort of showing the back and then when they showed the front you couldn't see this so i just thought it was kind of a change purse type you know dupe mm -mm, it's a straight up Oh, y'all went there with the replicating. Yes, you did, girl. Yes, you did. But so now I have it. It's in this chocolatey brown. I just thought it was cute. Um, did not realize they were totally ripping off people here, but they were. Uh, as y'all know, I have stopped <laughs> buying those things. <sighs> yeah, a long time ago I did. And, and for anything else, it was a good, uh, I've taken those videos down now, but anytime I posted a video of a straight up, you know, dupe bag, my dog's wanting in here so bad. Um, I got tons and tons of views. Like, I think I got 28,000 views on one one time. <laughs> Seriously, that's, I think that's the most I've ever gotten. But yeah, um, I just got flack from it and people were mad and people sent me hate and, you know, uh, so I stopped. I, I said, yeah, I'll never do that again. Like, it's not worth it. And and plus, I I really do want the real thing. But I, I swear when Don sent me this, this did not have this deal on here. So anyway, I don't know if it's still there. If it is, I'll try to link it, but I don't think so. I think it's been taken down or gone. You know how it used to work on Amazon when they did those things? Uh-huh. They find them and then snatch! You're gone! Speaking of snatch, just kidding. All right, guys. I hope you'll go over to Dawn's channel right now. Subscribe to Dawn. Watch her videos. She has some really great videos. Watch her last video, which was the um, Amazon uh, look-alike bag that she bought in the shape of a heart quilted. It's really nice. I think she got it for like 69 bucks or something. But anyhow, um, those might all be gone as far as sold out, but it didn't have any, um, mark. it didn't have, you know, <laughs> any CCs, anything like that. But mine, of course, I'm the one that's going to get the one that's like, mm, the devil. But anyhow, go over and check out Dawn. I'll be interested to see how she reacts to this bag, which has fallen and kicked over all my other bags. But listen... This bag is soft. If you can find it on sale, just keep waiting. I would keep waiting if you want this bag. It is on, on the Coach website for like two something, I think. Maybe even three something. But it has gone down a bit. But I feel like it'll go down a little bit more. And I'm just waiting for that lime or that pink one to go down a little bit more. I'm going to snag it. All right, guys. You guys have a great rest of the day. I will be back here on Wednesday with a mother effing haul. That's right. 
all the stuff I've been buying up, I'll show you. Um, a lot of perfumes, a long shop, some coach, uh, some lucky. Yeah, I think. Oh, and uh, some Louis Vuitton. So there we go. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day. And remember, if y'all see my husband, though, ooh, girl, please don't tell him nothing. Bye. So I don't know if you noticed, but I put in my Fendi earrings today. I took out, well, I didn't really want to take out my idol jewelry because I friggin' love it so much. So I took off the little dangly thing here, the little, um, I don't even know what they call that, but the back that sort of has the graduated diamonds on it. Real diamonds, girl. I'll link it down below. Uh, but I put the little chain back on and the stud, and then I put the stud over here. So if I'm comparing these to the Louis Vuitton ones that I have, the Louise earrings, the smaller ones, these are heavy, but they're not as heavy as that, but they make a nice look. I don't know if I, I feel like I maybe should not put them in the second hole. Girl, things should not go in that second hole. They should go in the first hole, right? These are first hole earrings. Ugh. I'm always sorry when I put stuff in the second hole, girl. What's wrong with me? I should have known this. I am not a second hole girl. Just say no to that second hole, biatch. It's a killer.